What's up, YouTube? Mega Man Cinco Makers with another reaction video. And today we got NBA Youngboy response to Lil Dirt this Aha and sends Gucci Mane a message. Now, I know y'all done heard that record. I don't want to react to it because it's most likely going to get copyright, but y'all done already heard it. And, you know, um, it's time for us to just see what Lucas J have because you know most of the time he just be he be coming at not only come not he be coming in with not only just a song but he be having like you know different TMZ articles and all this other stuff to go along with it. So y'all need to go over him and go over to his channel and check him out and like up on his videos and subscribe. And while you're doing that, before you even go, make sure y'all do the same thing on here. Without further ado, let's get straight into the reaction. Man, what is good, YouTube? Y'all already know who it is, man. It's your boy Jay here, man. I'm back here with another video, y'all. And today, man, we got a crazy video to talk about. Now, it seems like in today's classroom, y'all, once again, man, we got NBA Youngboy back on the roster. And it seems like he responded to a little dirt this, man. And he even added other people's name to it, man. This is getting crazy. Now, before we get into this crazy video, because this video is going to be kind of long and lengthy, no homo. Man, y'all just hit that like button. And also, man, smash that notification bell so that y'all can be notified anytime I drop a video. And I can just keep y'all updated on this whole situation, bro. In general, man. Y'all got me? Now, basically, man, what we got going on, as I just said, man, NBA I Youngboy responded to Lil Durk. Now, now basically, man, what we got going on, as I just said, man, NBA Youngboy responded to Lil Durk. Now, if y'all don't know what's going on, I made a video about it, man. A Lil Durk song had got leaked, like a little part of it. And pretty much in song, he was like, this and Youngboy saying that, you know, ever since Youngboy got out of jail, or ever since Vaughn passed away, People been feeling like they tough, and, they, and he just got out the fed. You know, young boy did this, and the first thing he did was speak on murder and try to call him police. Now, that song ended up releasing last night, and I think I forgot the name of it, you know what I mean? And he was pretty much talking crazy in the song, of course. And it was getting static all over social media. Everybody was reacting to it. Everybody was posting it, and they was feeling like, you know, he was dissing young boy, which, if we're going to be honest, he was. But young boy dropped the song today, man, and oh my God, man, it might have just got worse than what it should have got. Now, at this point, I'm not gonna lie, the whole thing is just commercial. Everybody see what's going on, you know, like they just coming direct with it. It's just a matter of time if something if something happens, sadly. Cause at this point, it's like, bro, they might as well just say each other's name. You know, it, it's just sad to see that because these are literally the two biggest artists there is in the world right now, bro. And they're literally beefing. Now, pretty much um Young Boy dropped the song last night and he had some things to say and yeah, I'm gonna talk to you here one part of it. Now, as y'all just seen, man, he pretty much was going stupid. Not going to lie. Like, you know, I didn't listen to it, like, on some, ooh, let's see what he got to see, like, on some hyper. But I'm going to just call him Spade a Spade. He was going crazy. Now, he pretty much said, you know, uh, he mad about his dead homie, and he's talking about King Von. But what made people even feel a little more crazy, man, young boy was talking wild on that song, man. He even brought up Lil Dirt cousin, and y'all know Lil Dirt loves his cousin. And I forgot to do a name on the tip of my tongue, the one that passed away right before you can sign. I'm going to put it up on here. But, yeah, let y'all hear what he had to say. Now, as y'all just seen, I ain't gonna lie, that disc record was hard, bro. He this dirt for not doing something behind his cousin, and then said, clean up on Al over, because y'all know it. And that stands for Obla. Now, man, what made the whole situation worse, and what had everybody kind of upset, I ain't gonna lie, people weren't feeling this, man. The man even went further to this and Gucci, man. Yes, Mr. 1017 himself. Now, if y'all don't know, man, Gucci and Lil Dirt dropped the song, like, uh, I think a month ago, you know what I mean? And pretty much, um, yeah, they literally dropped the song. I don't know if he was dissing in the song, because I didn't listen to it. I'm not going to lie to y'all, bro. I barely listen to these dudes. But, um, he made a song with Lil Dirk, and Youngboy had something to say about that. Now, 
as y'all just seen, man, young boy literally just said he used to F for Gucci, but he hang with them or he liked them, you know who. Now, pretty much he's saying he don't rock with Gucci because Gucci made a song with Lil Durk. And I got to call him out on that, bro. That is probably the most lamest thing you can do because Gucci is a man that just had a child. And that's why Gucci shouldn't even did a song with them two. Like, that's why if you a rapper or whatever artist and you don't even want to be in no beef, just don't do a song with them. Because it's like, at this point, if you do a song with them, you quote unquote pick a side. Some people just neutrally don't got nothing to do with that. Gucci is a businessman that just had a son, bro. You know what I mean? And be honest with you, Gucci, you kind of deserve this, but you're too old to be rapping, bro. And I'm not going to lie to you, but nobody bro, out of Gucci, pocket, man. I'm not saying like he's not a legend in the street, but like, bro, let's be realistic here, bro. You, Boosie, um, Snoop Dogg, bro, wrap it up, bro. Real talk. Like, bro, nobody trying to hear that. No. You know, I do feel like bro wrong for that, man, because Gucci don't bother nobody. Like, Gucci be in his own lane. He's trying to become a millionaire, whatever the case may be. You know, and for him to say that, it's like, bro, now nah, are you going to be mad at anybody that make a song with them? What if they just literally just like their music? Like, Ed, dude, look, they're supposed to be mad if somebody make a song with you. Like, you know, I feel like that's weird, you know? That ain't got nothing to do with Gucci or any other artist ain't got something to do with it. But you know you got people like 21 Savage them saying you got to pick a side. And that's just going to call division. And you know what they say, united we stand, divided we fall. When any division is like, bro, anytime there's division, it's, it's, it's never going to go right, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's crazy, bro. This is some demonic stuff, man. Now, it even went further and he responded. I'm always shopping the real bro. They drop over 10,000 new arrivals every day. Gucci, Rolex, Crocs. Point it to Lil Dirt pretty much dissing Jania. Now, as you just seen, man, he pretty much just said, keep my baby mama name out your mouth. She got more money than all yo, you know what? Hey, you know what? Not gonna lie, YP, you yeah, might just be right on that part. I ain't trying to be like, on no meat right now, because like I told you, I don't pick sides, you know? People were calling me a uh, L YouTuber and L whatever because I was saying that, you know, my last video saying that, you know, that was karma for it, dirt gonna be dissing. Two of them all the time, so y'all obviously know I'm not picking sides, bro. But this whole situation is crazy because a lot, like y'all, literally, these are two of the biggest rappers in the world, right? Biggest artists there is in the world, but yet they're literally sitting up here beefing with each other, and neither one of them are going to do anything, bro. When I say that, I'm not saying like they scary, but bro, you, what you tell me, which millionaire out here sliding and doing dirt? I'm not trying to praise it, but bro, that's just not how it works. You are the money man. So if anything, they're gassing it up. And they're putting their little guys in danger because y'all know it always the, the, the little dude, the crash dummy that feel like they got to prove a point and protect their breadwinner, which they do. But it's like any type of situation, bro. Dirk and young boy, bro, y'all are too big for this, bro. Like realistically, nah. When blood is shed, I told y'all. Once blood is shed, bro, it's a whole different ball game, and that's why I hate that that whole situation happened, bro. You know, like, man, because, like, they rappers, bro. Like, y'all are rich. Y'all are fathers, literally. Like, Vaughn was a father. Y'all boy's a father of 30. You know what I'm saying? Lil Dirk is a father of 15. Like, bro, yo, like, I just I'll don't wait. get it. If I'm that rich, bro, why would I be worried about beefing with another rapper? I left that lifestyle, so therefore I can live a different one, bro. It doesn't make sense to me, bro. Like, and now somebody's going to get hurt behind this nine times out of ten, bro. If you don't just die down, man. It's a sad situation, but I don't want to talk y'all head off. Give me y'all thoughts and opinions about this in the comment section and let me know what y'all think, man. Is young boy tripping? Is dirt tripping? Is they both doing too much? Y'all just let me know. Y'all already know who it is. It's your boy Lucas J. Thank God for another day. Y'all be safe. I love y'all so much, man. And yeah, bro. I'm out, bro. Hell no. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's the end of the video. Um, just on, you know, look his day in, and I and I gotta agree, bro. Like, that is really making no sense because y'all, how y'all, how y'all both a millionaire is like, bro. I said, <laughs> young boy, a father at thirty, dark a father at fifteen, and you know all this stuff just popping off, like for real, like. And I feel like the one in the wrong for real is like you know, after Vaughn died, you know, young boy and all of them was rubbing it in for real so it's like and you know the fans and the fans got a big part of it too because they was hyping dirk up and then you know young boy he ain't need no hyping up brad just mad disrespectful anyways so you know he gonna disregardless so i feel like young boy was out of, out of was kind of out of line when he had this um fun after bro had already passed away like why you dissing the dad but Vaughn ain't i'm from what i know maybe it's just something that happened behind the scenes but from, from what i know came on ain't do nothing to them and you know it was just an unfortunate situation that night and it's sad that it's not just gonna it's probably not just gonna stop at Vaughn and it's gonna take more lives all over just you know 
Vaughn taking nothing away from him. I just felt like all oh, the deal should have just stopped right there. But it is what it is, though. Y'all tell me how y'all feel inside the comments. Make sure y'all turn on post notifications. Y'all can be notified whenever I drop new videos. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll tune in with y'all the next time. Peace.